When working on something like the chin that is really abstract um, of a shape, when you, when you separate it from the face, you have to rely on the subtle shifts in value. So you can see that there is a mid-tone gray here. It gets darker right underneath. Um, it's even a little bit darker right in here. It gets lighter, but it's not like bright white and then black. If you did that, it would be too contrasted. So you really have to search for the subtle shifts. Um, if you come up here, all of these gray values are showing the anatomy of this uh, face. So right here is the column of the lip. It's got a little highlight on it. And then right underneath is the shadow. This is the mental labial sulcus in the face. And right above it is this uh, dark shadow. Um, so here is another kind of uh, dark right in here, but there's a mid-tone right here. So you really have to search and search for those subtle shifts. And then when you translate it over to your drawing, um, what I like to do is, you know, all this whole drawing has been done with Vine. And the reason why I begin with Vine is because I can easily erase. I can also always, you know, when my grid erases, I'll, I'll bring my grid back um, very lightly. So, you know, super easy just to disappear. But I'll start, I'll continue with my vine and just looking at my source image, just very lightly add more material where I think that it should be darker. So in this case, this feels much too light if I'm comparing it to my source image. It is very bright, um, but probably this is a little too much. So I might just add a little here. And then you can smooth things with your fingers, but I've given you a blending stump. And so you can use your blending stump to um, blend those gray values together. And I'll take it on the side. And sometimes it's a little much, you know, too much, too much gray. So now that's, you know, I need to work back into that, but let me blend some of this too. I'm going to smooth it out. Feather it into the lighter areas. You don't want um, the areas to be outlined. <clears throat> if you outline these, it's just going to go flat. It's going to look like shape on the face instead of subtle shifts. So you can see how already that has smoothed out the charcoal, but now it is a little too intense in certain areas. So I'm gonna go back in and just like I did with the blending stump, I'm now going to pull um, some areas, I'm gonna pull some uh, value out. So I'll first just take my eraser and I like a sharp eraser and I basically, kind of do a cross hatch and I pull some of that that stuff out and you can keep that mark making on here basically you're you're having to search for the values just like you did with the stipple portrait only you're using a different material and so it's just a different way of um, pushing and pulling those gray values charcoal in my mind it's messy but it's easier than working with ink um, because you cannot go back into the ink. What you put down is what you get. Um, also with ink, you go light to dark. And um, with charcoal, you can go dark to light. You can go light to dark. It's really up to you. It's just much more forgiving. So you can see how just sort of pulling certain um, areas out with my eraser is making that look more like planes in the face and less like beard. So I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to continue adding and subtracting, um, working on, you know, really working with my grid to find accuracy within the um, image that I'm drawing. And um, when I need to, I can take my uh, pink pearl eraser. You were all given an eraser in your supply bag and take out more broad shapes.